Hello everyone and welcome to Friday Message. I'm going to begin with the first verse of one of my favorite hymns. It's hymn number 490 and uh, it's called I Want to Walk as a Child of the Light and for whatever reason I I woke up with this song in my heart this morning and uh, I just want to share it as I begin this Friday message. I want to walk as a child of the light. I want to follow Jesus. God set the stars to give light to the world. The star of my life is Jesus. In him there is no darkness at all. The night and the day are both alike. The Lamb is the light of the city of God. Shine in my heart, Lord Jesus. I hope that wasn't too hard on your ears, but um, I have the, uh, the Christ candle, the Easter candle, set up here behind me in the altar area because we are going to have a baptism this Sunday during the 930 service. And I love baptisms. We light the Christ candle. We uh, shine forth the light of Christ as we welcome a new member into this Christian community and into the household of God. But when we celebrate a baptism, it isn't just about the person being baptized. So when we do this on Sunday, it isn't just about little Swayze, who is going to be baptized in the company of her family and her sponsors and, and us as a Christian community. When we celebrate a baptism, it gives all of us the chance to renew our baptismal covenant. And our baptismal covenant, the baptismal covenant, is really the, the heart and soul of the service of baptism. All of us gathered respond to the baptismal covenant, not just the parents and sponsors, not just the, the person being baptized if they're old enough to do that for themselves. We all renew our commitment to God in Christ by, by remembering and reaffirming our commitment to the baptismal covenant. And it's really, there's really two parts to it. We affirm what we believe about God in the Holy Trinity, God the Father, God the creator of the universe, God the the giver of life, the giver of, of the life of the world, the giver of all of our lives. God the Father, Creator. God the Son, Jesus, God incarnate, God in the flesh who came to teach us how to live and, and how to love, how to, how, came to teach us the way of love, Jesus. And then God the Holy Spirit, God's presence with us and within us, right Right here, as close as our next breath, the Holy Spirit of God is with us. And so that's the first thing that we do in the baptismal covenant. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord. Do you believe in God the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints. All of that, these are, these are what we believe about God. But our faith is more than that. Our faith is more than just what we believe about God. It's about how we live our lives. And so the next questions of the baptismal covenant that grow out of what we believe about God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, are really about how we're going to live. About how we're going to live our life in light of what we believe about God. And so he asked, will you continue in the apostles' teaching and fellowship and the breaking of bread and in the prayers? Will you continue to practice your faith by gathering together with fellow Christians for, for prayer, to hear scripture, to celebrate the Eucharist? Will you continue in these 
practices gathering around the table for communion with God and with each other. Will you do that? I will with God's help. Will you persevere in resisting evil and whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord? We're, we're all going to miss the mark. We're all going to fail in our lives. We're all going to sometimes turn away from God. And so we are recommitting to turning back, turning back, repenting when we sin and returning to the Lord. Again, another spiritual practice to look at our lives and to see where we have fallen short and to remember our call to repent and return to the Lord over and over again. Again, another spiritual practice that grows out of what we believe about God. We believe our God is a loving and forgiving God who is always, always willing to welcome us back. And so we turn and we do the same for others. We forgive. 70 times, seven times, the scripture says. So forgiveness is another practice that grows out of our, our, our baptism, our baptismal vows. Will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ? Will you live it? it, it our faith isn't just something that is for us, between us and God. It's something that we carry with us everywhere that we go and that we live out in our day-to-day -day lives. Are we Christ-like in our words and actions? Proclaiming by word and example the good news of God in Christ. Our faith isn't, isn't just a lot of talk. Our faith is the example that we set. And if little Swayze is going to learn about what it means to be a follower of Jesus and to be a Christian, she's going to learn that from the people around her. Parents, sponsors, and Christian community. The example that we set is going to be a model for little Swayze in learning about what it means to live a Christ-like life. Will you seek and serve God, Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself? Seek and serve Christ in all persons. We believe that every person is the dwelling place for God. And so they have inherent dignity that we, that we respect and that God calls us to respond to in love. Loving your neighbor as yourself. I will with God's help. Will you strive for justice and peace among all people and respect the dignity of every human being? Again, respecting every human being as being a dwelling place for the divine and honoring that in ourselves and in each other. And striving for justice and peace among all people. Again, these are practices of how we are living our faith in the world so that our world becomes a little more just and a little more peaceful, a little more, a little more caring and kind. So how we live it out, how we live it out. I will with God's help. We can't do these things on our own. It is always with God's help that we are practicing and living our faith. And so, on Sunday, right up here in front of the altar as we baptize Swayze, we will have a chance to remember our own baptismal covenant and to be reminded about what we believe about God in Christ and God's dwelling with us, being with us in the power and presence of the Holy Spirit and then how we are called to live out that faith live out that faith in our in our daily 
practices of being followers of Jesus and living the way of love. We have a few things coming up that I want to remind you of. Of course, you can always find about information about what's happening at St. Michael's through the Friday Brief and on our website. Uh, but here are some things that are coming up next week. Uh, next Wednesday, our uh, summer uh, Wednesday um, activity is uh, show tunes. Susie Post is going to be leading a show tunes sing-along in the parish hall beginning at 6 p.m. Be a wonderful time to come out and uh, enjoy some wonderful music, enjoy some singing together, and uh, just, just have some fun and uh, gather together and appreciate the gift of music and how that fills our hearts with, uh, with joy and gladness and how it brings us together. So Wednesday evening, 6 p.m., show tunes in the parish hall. And then the next Love Santa Bell Back event is a week from Saturday. Uh, next Saturday, it's at Rosalita's for dinner, 6 p.m. Uh, we are going to have a table at Rosalita's, so we'd like you to sign up. If you're, you can sign up um, in the parish hall, or you can call the office to uh, RSVP for the Love Santa Bell Back dinner gathering at Rosalita's at 6 p.m., next Saturday, which is the 17th, is that right? 17th next Saturday. And please RSVP for that, either by signing up or by calling the office. Next Sunday is Messy Church at 4 p.m. And then uh, mark your calendars for September 28th. September 28th is the second anniversary of uh, Hurricane Ian's landfall. And to uh, commemorate that, we are going to have a Love Sanibel community gathering at the community house. And we're still working on the details of that, but mark your calendars now. Uh, it's going to be in the early afternoon, and uh, we're going to have several things going on at the community house with, uh, uh, with music and activities and food and some other kinds of things. So... Uh, again, we're still working on the details, but that is going to be both our St. Michael's commemoration of the anniversary and also uh, the island. We're working with our partners on Sanibel uh, to, uh, to have this community gathering at the community house. So mark your calendars now for that. Be safe and well, and God bless you.